What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC channel. We're going to give you a very early projected record for the Vanderbilt Commodores here in this video. Before we get to 2024, let's look back at some of the projections from 2023. As you can see, a very disappointing season, of course, for Vanderbilt last year, just 2-10. and 10. Our projection actually had them at 5-7. and seven. Remember, they were coming off of a pretty good 2022. Uh, if you look back to that season, they won a couple of SEC games. And again, our projections do play a lot off of how the teams played the year before, what their record was the year before. Uh, our prediction, my prediction was 3-9 and nine for this team. I did have them beating UNLV. They didn't even win that game. Uh, Athlon had them at four and eight. The over/under was at three and a half. Uh, yeah, it, it was a. There weren't high expectations at all for Vanderbilt. But again, our projection was a little bit higher than everyone else. Again, uh, our projections are very conservative, and uh, that's kind of why you see Vanderbilt up there at five and seven last year. Let's see what they offer this year. Again, here's the schedule, and this is the scale that we use. If it's under twenty or over eighty, those are games that are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. Twenty to twenty-nine, seventy-one to eighty. Games where the spread should be double digits, 30 to 39, 61 to 70. Games where I think spreads closer to a touchdown. Uh, games that teams, well, there'll be a favorite, but they could uh, could easily lose. And then your 50-50 games, 40 to 60%, those games will be in the white. So for Vanderbilt, you've got one easy win on the schedule. I think that's Alcorn State, and I think that's the only you know kind of guaranteed win we can give Vanderbilt. I think Georgia State, especially playing on the road, and Ball State, those are more like games in that 75 percent range 71 to 80 percent range where vanderbilt should win but they lost to unlv last year and this is vanderbilt's not very good so they could lose either one of these games but if they take care of business that's three wins right there so they've already passed last season's total if again they take care of business in these three games all right, let's go to the other side of this game where they'll be underdogs. I think you've got Kentucky, Auburn, and Tennessee. I think they will be pretty big underdogs in all three of these games, double digits, uh, maybe even more than that, honestly. And again, that's where the, the tier system comes into play here. My personal opinion, uh, I, I don't think that they have a 20 to 29% chance to really win any of these games. Uh, maybe a 20% chance, so it, it, they might be in this range. But again, it, is, it does go with our tier system and the formula that I use for these projections, uh, not my personal picks. Again, I don't see Vanderbilt winning any of these games, but they are, again, based off of this formula we use, they are games that wind up here in the orange. And then uh, four games in the red, Missouri, Alabama, Texas, LSU, really no chance of Vanderbilt winning any of these games. I think everyone pretty much agree with that. Now that's going to leave Virginia Tech and South Carolina then again, this is where my personal thoughts and predictions don't play into this because if I was uh, doing this, I, you know, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think Vanderbilt's going to beat Virginia Tech, and I don't think they're going to beat South Carolina, and I think these games should probably be more like in the yellow. But uh, these teams are just one tier above Vanderbilt, and Vanderbilt does have home field advantage. That's why they wind up in in the 50-50 range. Uh, Virginia Tech might actually wind up being two tiers above Vanderbilt. We'll see what they look like next year, but I think there's a lot of potential for that team. A lot of people are uh, pretty high on the Hokies. South Carolina, maybe not so much. Uh, if they're going to get an SEC win, it's got to be that game against South Carolina. I mean, that's really their only opportunity. If they were able to beat Virginia Tech, though, and they find a way to beat South Carolina, and they win the three games that they're favored in, I mean, could they pull off an upset somewhere on this schedule and get to six and six? I don't really see that happening. I don't really see five and seven happening, but the projection is four and eight. So that's where they're projected to finish. Again, you could say they could win these three games where they're favored and then split Virginia Tech, South Carolina. That's how they could get to four and eight. I think it'll be tough for them to get to four and eight. I do think they have a good chance to, to win these non conference games to get to three and nine. But uh, four and eight, you know, that's definitely possible. Uh, five and seven, I think, is possible. I don't think they can really do much better than that, though. But uh, four and eight, again, that's the projection with our formula. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts on Vanderbilt and your projections down in the comments below.